check it out. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I know it's been like, I know a while, like over three months, I guess. I think the last video you guys probably saw. Before this video, I had actually filmed this a month before. So I haven't actually created content for technically three months. I had some sort of creative block and I really needed to take a break from creating content on YouTube to rediscover who Ekena was and what my brand was about and how I now align with that personality to give you guys the content that you want. But yeah, but I'm now back and in full motion. So you're going to see some bit of consistency from your girl. So um, be on the lookout for more videos like this. Let's get into today's video. Another disclaimer, guys, I, I have reached the toddler phase. So in case you hear any screaming in the background, that's my one-year-old child. For today's video, we're going to be talking about the six ways you can land consulting clients with zero experience. I'm sharing these tips because I have used them for my consulting business and I have seen that they work. They teach you several ways that you can promote yourself as a consultant and how you can push your consulting business to the right clients, not just to any client, but the client that are guaranteed to get your service. Now, the first thing I'll tell you when starting a consulting business is that for you to land the perfect client, you need to make sure that you are comfortable with yourself. Now, for example, I had to take a break off YouTube because I needed to understand the reason why I created my channel in the first place. I was having a creative block where I was just following the trend. And then I realized that that's not who I am. That's not what I want people to know me for. I want people to come to me and be like, hey, that's that person that talks about how to start a business. She breaks down the steps and she shows you how to package and brand your business to the right client. But then you need to find a way to make sure that it's very interesting and it's sellable to your clients it all boils down to who you are as a person no one else can sell your service better than you can i know some people are gonna come and say oh you know i don't have experience in sales so how do i now get into marketing first off find out what you're trying to sell and make sure that you were passionate about it i had to figure out what exactly it is that i liked or what was i passionate about and try and figure out how i could turn that passion into profit i loved branding i love creativity i love bringing people's businesses to life i could see or you could present a business idea to me and i will break it down from the beginning to the end and i will even show you how to brand and package and market it that is what i love now how do i sell that to my potential client that is where you need to figure out who your clients are and how do you now sell this passion of yours to your clients. Now the second point is to determine your rates and your value. When you're starting out, especially when you don't have any experience, I'll tell you for a fact that you need to reevaluate what your value is. Right now you're trying to build a clientele. Do you really want to raise like your prices and then chase out the few people that are willing to come on board your platform? You need to bring your prices to not a low level but to an average level where it's affordable to the average you know entrepreneur or the average client but not too expensive that it will scare away like small businesses or small content creators just so that you can attract people and then i also mentioned that you also can offer discounts if someone walks up to me and tells me hey i'd like to get your service and i tell them oh i charge a thousand dollars the pricing throws me off especially when maybe i saw your ad or i came across your instagram page or i follow you on instagram and i just like how you presented yourself but the fact that that price is so high i withdraw i'm like i, I don't want to spend that amount of money on somebody that i'm not certain would help me there has to be a track record especially when it's not from a referral or from someone that i trust i'm not going to put all that money into someone i don't know so when you're trying to build a trust with your customer discover that your value has to measure to what you're trying to offer now the third point is to refine your branding and your marketing strategy remember the first point when i said that you need to discover who you are so that you can sell who you are to your potential clients that is also part of branding discover who you are 
and then package it. That packaging part to your client is branding. So you need to find out what type of branding you would like to incorporate into your service. If you're like me that wants to help businesses grow or be successful you need to create a platform where you can offer one-on-one -on -one sessions probably like a website or a domain so that people have access to you they can schedule interviews or schedule calls with you just so they can have the opportunity to learn from you in those experiences now that website that social media interface that i'm talking about is branding and then you need to find the right branding and the right strategy to getting this brand that you created to the right clients like i said it's not every client that's your client the right clients are the people that are actually looking for your service so you need to figure out how to refine this branding of yours to those right clients to make sure that you are getting the right people to your business now the fourth point is to plug into the industry whatever industry it is you are in i will tell you to plug in i recently made like a personal decision i was like you know what i really want to take youtube to the next level i need to plug in into the youtube industry here in lagos and i had no idea how to do that so i started to engage with a lot of um youtube creators on instagram and i started to see a lot of the youtube events actually happening i made sure that between last year september to this year I've attended I think about four master classes and I'm always engaging with creators I go for their events now I'm always engaging I'm always interacting and I'm intentionally doing this because I'm trying to understand this industry where I'm trying to grow my brand you need that industry whatever industry you're in to be able to scale and now grab as much clients to your business why I say plug into this industry is because this industry already has its market it already knows the clients that it's catering to plug yourself especially when you have something different from what everyone else is offering into that industry will get you an immense amount of clients now another point is reaching out to your network there are different types of network that's your personal network and your professional network if I have a group of friends that I know are starting out their businesses they are my personal network they're the people that will reach out to me and sit me down and you know ask for advice and just you know want to know how to scale their business or how to scale that idea of theirs to the next level there's also the professional network that could range from like your actual work your nine-to-five or like your entrepreneurial network or like your social network like just going out and going for webinars and conferences every network has its opportunity to bring so in general I would tell you to plug into your network whether personal professional social anything plug into it market yourself sell your business sell your service sell your consulting business and make sure that people enjoy the conversation they're having with you so much that they want to be your clients now the last point and I really put this as the last point because I really wanted to go in deep into this point because I want you guys to understand that it's not a bed of roses and there are times where you need to walk away when an opportunity is not for you what i will say as an opportunity not being for you is when a client devalues your actual value like if you're starting out and you're charging somebody a hundred dollars and they're telling you oh we're friends that person doesn't value what you have to bring to the table and if you truly are going to immerse your time into something like that and you don't feel like you'll be rewarded for it please walk away there are times where you do not take things or let people take your service or what you have to offer for granted and i'm going to use myself as an example here there are times where i have in my personal network offered advice to people and certain people will not appreciate the service or the information or the advice i'm giving them or they undervalue my professionalism or undervalue my service and then i start to feel like i am putting in too much work into something that's not going to yield me profit and then you start to feel bad or you start to feel a negative way or there are even times where someone tries to guilt trip you like oh you know i'm your friend you know you can't you do this for friends if you know how hard you've worked in creating your brand especially when you've paid for websites you've paid for emails you're paying for domains you're paying for serf several services to incorporate this business to the masses and someone tells you to do it for free because they're your friend if you don't feel that that's the right opportunity or you don't feel comfortable about that opportunity please learn to walk away so yeah that's basically everything i have to say on how you can land those consulting clients with no experience if 
you really want to immerse yourself in getting these clients i promise you at least three out of the several options that i mentioned to you are guaranteed to get you clients and i didn't even mention like the referral program or getting people to refer clients to you. I didn't mention that because I know that that's certain. That's that's the obvious way of consulting. But I'm looking for creative ways for you to find the right clients that would be guaranteed to use your service. I hope this points were very useful to you and yes i'm gonna be very consistent from now on so please guys be very patient with me thank you for watching this video if you haven't subscribed i mean what are you waiting for hit the subscribe button down below and join the community bye guys